welcome back to another RTG video. Hansen has dropped. I sold her at half one to two o'clock uh, this afternoon. And there's a new patch that's changing everything. And she's dropped to 1.5 million. So we have dodged a bullet. It's crazy. I was so close to buying Dina Tale, who also has the finish shot plus. So I don't even know. I'm scared. I'm petrified. I think the market's just going to continue to come down. But I have sold everything. I went and bought Virgil van Dijk last night for 150,000 coins, but we're on 1,961,446 coins. And I'm going for an RTG rebuild. I don't like the way I've been playing recently. I want dribblers, technical players, and fantastic finishers. So Torre is gone. We're going to be getting a lot more for our money. And this team that I'm about to build is 10 out of 10. Well, maybe not 10 out of 10, but it's going to be very good. Di Natale. Oh, Di Natale's back, boys. I think we're going to need some of those playmakers because they're going to open up the midfield, less congested. That's what they've said in the pitch notes. So we need a skiller, dribbler, and this is the woman. I'm going to absolutely do it. It's Ansu Fei. I never did his 85 evolution, but this is a card that's going to be giving me that dribbling again, the pace, the acceleration, and reliable shots. Like 87 finishing. He doesn't have the finesse. Well, that's going to get patched anyway. But just a little, little tap ones, like running through on goal, little drill to the near post or something like that. I think that Ansu is going to be great. Boom. Perfect. Cancelo, he's going to start as the right back. Sorry. He's going to start as a left back and we're going to switch them in game. So Lorente goes left, which is technically an upgrade on Theo Hernandez defensively. And then, well, Cancelo is just really good. So he's back in the side as well. We've got a beautiful team now. One or two base hero player pick. What would happen though if it's Lucio alongside Di Natale? Who would I pick? I don't know. So let's find out. Marquisio again, Italian. Marquisio again. Do you know what? I'm going to take you, Marquisio. A fantastic new side. Well, you guys might say, oh, some of the players are returned. Well, I'm on an RTG. I only had like, what, 2 million coins to spend because I, well, paid, I don't know how much, like 700,000 for the SBCs during Black Friday. So we were down quite bad. But Cancelo makes a return, who is one of the best fullbacks on the game, who's going to be switched in game to right back. Uh, Buteas uh, to be attacking as well. But Kone, we're going to be leaving on balance. So we're going to have a bit more of an attacking threat through the like the right side, left side. And then Ansu Fati is not a bad price. For 400,000 coins with his stats, I don't think it's too bad. And the potential of getting more boosts. So I like that. And then Dina Tale returns, the absolute go. So I need to play rivals and I need to get back to Division 1. But he has his Alisson, Guardiola, pretty expensive. Rudy. On the edge. Quickly then, Ansu Fati! 400,000. Has he got us? A cross goal? Boah! Allison, Jesus, that's a good save. Welcome back, man. Yashin is on his way out of the club because he just doesn't really do enough. Ah, man. It's like in that situation there with Virgil, I felt like the first tackle should have been good enough. <sighs> Kone. Di Natale Travella. Nah, this guy is just different. Different gravy, Di Natale. What an important goal it was. Yeah. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, thank God. I was panicking. I was panicking. I don't know how that went through Virgil's legs. I need Kone. Oh, I'm so sketchy defensively. Three wins in a row. Yeah, we need three wins now for Division 1. Mbappe Reds. There's not a promo like that coming up where it's going to give loads of fodder. There's no way. That's Salah. Trevella, 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 Trevella. Yes, here we go. And maybe with a new patch, like everything will just click again and it'll feel right. I hope that's going to be the case. If not, it'll probably be even worse. And then, oh my God. Mayday. That's going to be the goal though. Dina Tale, easy. Give me that. Dina Tale, how many goals you scored so far? Ansu. Oh, that's fast. Ansu Fati. Oh, that was quick. Just a burst through. Go on, Ansu. That's crazy pace. Lovely. One slight change. Kone was playing very well. But listen, I want to get full chem to Buteas. And I also want to see if De Jong plays this role a little bit better. We don't know like how it's going to play out. So this is still the main core of the side. Let's go. Shemichael, Shemichael. Ooh, who's that center back? Damn, he looks quite good. Sour, Dalglish, some fun cards. Sour. Oh, it's gone in as well. See, that's why I should have done with Dina Tale early in the game. Come on, boys, both of you. Work harder. You got to run. Lovely. It's got us out a little bit. 
Down here first. And so... Oh, Jesus, dude. You can't keep it down, can you? Good pass. Perfect pass. Let's go, Salah. No, too far. Oh, perfect. Whoa, well, well done. That's a fantastic ball from Di Natale. Probably. Trevella. I mean, it's only fair. He scored with Salah. It was a fantastic card. I wanted to buy, actually, for this build. It's a sticky button or whatever. Cancelo. Cancelo. RB dribbling Cancelo. Ain't no one like him. Come back. Maybe Hansen. Ansu. Oh, Ansu. Ansu, Ansu, Ansu. Pack your bags, Ansu. And walk down the tunnel. And a fantastic finish from Sauer. So that's your fault, Ansu. Should have scored. Oh, he's going to get that for sure. <sighs> Sauer hat trick. Rebound. Oh, man. It's going to be a tough grind. Perfect. Di Natale, look at that. Perfect run. Let's go. Got to win this game. Through. D a foul, foul. Uh, uh, oh. I'm winning this game. When I got Di Natale, <laughs> I'll win this game. We win this and we're back to Division 1. We're against Maldino. Valverde in form. Oof, that's stacked midfield, that is. And so, come on, where's your RB technical? I need, I need to boost away from that press so then I can open up the space here. And then Di Natale. Oh, I really do hope that they don't patch it too much. Lovely. Salah. Double man pressing Salah. Look how much space I'm in. How does he score that? Nah, that's a good play. <laughs> oh, what a goal. Nah, that's a good play originally, but it always ends with some silly nonsense that happens. Like, of course, I score it as well. Potatoes, go, go, go. Potatoes are through. Nah, that's a nice pass. Good. It turned back. Gorgeous Mo Salah. Exactly what I wanted and he's done it. Well done. So a lot of things have been going down and what you're about to see are a lot of packs we've claimed from Season Progress. We've had some other SBCs being unlocked as well as the Icon, the Icon pack. But what's happened to the market? Like that panic sell was surreal. The finesse shot plus nerf, you know, this whole patch that's going to be changing everything. And it caused Hansen to go from 1,799,000 to 1 1.450 or 1 1.5. I don't know her lowest. But I was looking to get rid of her anyway because of the Fernando Torres issue. Like this weekend just gone, having that lump up top against better players just didn't really seem to cut it. So I did say that I was going to wait a couple more days. Worst case scenario, we were going to get rid. And I'm so pleased I sold her. And then obviously the patch dropped. But I was close anyway to buying like Di Natale. As I sold Hansen, I was very, very close straight away to buying and purchasing Di Natale for my team. Uh, for 970 and then he dropped for 840 so we've sold at the right time and we've bought at the right time because this stuff is rebounding there's no way that the patch is going to affect finesse shots to that extreme where they're not going to be viable at all to take on and i like them anyway when i'm inside the box for that consistent finish because i look at how ansu fatty's been playing and it is poor going from hansen to fatty I don't get any real shot from him, like a proper finish. Everything's just a hit and hope, and if it goes in, it's all good. Uh, the way he's been dribbling as well, and just, I don't know, there's, there's a feel that's off for me with Ansu. I haven't enjoyed him at all. Dina tale has been great, of course. Uh, Butea has been brought into the team, has been phenomenal. You've got even De Jong. I replaced Kone with De Jong, and he's been uh, fantastic in this role. And then you've got Salah that's still in the side, just because I'm running low on coins. But I got rid of Ansu. 11 games, one goal is just not acceptable. So we have 490,000 to find just a winger that's reliable. Pace, dribbling, shooting. It seems to be the all impossible task right now and mission to find someone for our side. But I did throw some cards towards a brand new icon and we got Hernandez. Uh, that is an absolute L. And another thing that's going to be patched or a significant change, which is the power headers. So Didier Drogba, well, he was sent in anyway. So bye-bye, Didier. It was fun using you. You were a great card, but you're not going to be that player that's going to take us to the next level. But Di Natale, bringing him back, like his finishing is just different. So fingers crossed they don't change too much with Di Natale and the market starts rebounding. But I'm going to be real. I miss Hansen already. Like I want to get her back at some point. But I just believe she's going to be rebounding back up to like what her original price was. But we've we've been we've been all right. Like I'm glad that we got rid of her when we did, and we got lucky with that. Otherwise, we would have lost three hundred thousand just like that. And at this moment in time, we can't afford it. 
But I did do some other SBCs, like there was an 84 triple that was horrifically poor. Like you don't want to go anywhere near those. And then from some random pack uh, that I claimed by watching the live stream, like the EA Sports live stream, I got some really nice cards. But I want to go back to the team anyway, show you what's been going on, show you some stats and stuff. And yeah, let's try and find a brand new winger. Like I need a left winger. So goodbye to Hansen, but something tells me our paths will cross once again. She is 10 times the player that Ansu Fatty is. I don't know what was going on with this card. I'll be honest though, one of the shots I read timed, so he should have had 11 games, two goals, but he only finished on one. And it was more like just that approach, like going missing in games, not really feeling that great, maybe awkward at times. I didn't like him personally. I know some of you might love Ansu Fei, but 430,000 coins, I think there are far better players to buy. Personally, I'd rather go for the Hansen base version if I could get her into the team with Salah, but I can't because they both clash in their right mid right wing, unless the player amongst Salah can play as a striker, and I don't believe he can. And I wouldn't want to do that before I can test out the patch myself. But we've got a brand new pitcher for Salah, Tellers is looking very nice with hers. We've got Lorente. We've got Allison. We have, I think it's uh, Lorente, did I say? Yeah, we've got new pictures. So visually, it's been updated. In game, however, oh God, like I'm scared. But Di Natale has gone back up. Like we bought him for 840, 11 games, 11 goals, one assist. And he's now like 900 and something thousand. And Shumeni has been playing pretty well. And I'm thinking that if they have opened up the midfield, I'd rather use more or less like a CDM defensive minded player. But then Bellingham is also one of the goats of the game. What could be quite nice, though, is to have the who if I ask you the question, what would you rather have? Would you have these two together in your team or would you rather have De Jong? Now, something tells me that they've done something to the second man press and how like stamina it is going to be eaten into. So if you have like relentless plus players, it's going to feel much better. So we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. But De Jong really was playing quite well. Someone who was also super standout, and that was Cancelo. This guy is unbelievable. He really is good. And I've also had to play Lorente as the left back. So he's better defensively than Theo, but there's something in that position for me that's awkward with Lorente. Like, I don't personally love it, but he just works. So I might just continue to use him there. But really, we're looking for a left winger. So if you can give me some recommendations right now, we have basically, we'll have more than 500,000 coins after the rewards as well. The Thursday rewards would we'll be able to get ourselves, yeah, a few more for um, for the finish. Like we're back up to division one and I want to, I want to just grind the game. I want to grind rivals um, before Friday to test out obviously the patch and figure some things out with the side. But I've gone back to my old tactics. I, I can't really f uh, figure that out, to be honest, like. My tactics still feel about the same, um, but yeah, we'll tweak some things and hopefully feel a lot better. But I do like the core of the side and I just want to get back to form. I really want a good weekend league for this week. No more rank four, like falling short, no way. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you boys on the next one. So take care, enjoy the rest of your evening and yeah, test the patch. Peace.